Hey everybody, this is uh, Tuesday Truce with uh, Darren Miller here at CDL University. Look, we sit around and we always think, okay, what can we talk about to give, uh, give something of value to people out there uh, that are interested in the trucking industry and, and interested in how, how do they move forward uh, when they decide that they want to look at this industry for a career. Uh, they already know that they're going to make money in the career. They already know that it's a great place to go to make money. And so uh, once they figure that out, you know, and, and it's usually figured out by, wow, man, that guy's got money. Even his three-year-old has a four-wheeler, you know. Um, who are those people that are on the infield, you know, <laughs> at, a, at a NASCAR race and, and stuff like that. So they already have figured out that you can make money driving a truck, okay. And, but, so, but then the process comes into, well, what do I know about this and what do I know, you know, what that process is and, and how do you start and how do you get through it and how do you finish up and how do you come up uh, with the documentation, the licensing, uh, and the know-with-all how to actually be successful in this career. So, you know, I've gotten phone calls uh, for years about it, but recently in the last couple of days I've received some phone calls where people are really sitting there and they're revisiting um, uh, you know in my brain with uh, these questions that people have all the time so we're going to talk a little bit about that this morning. Um, first I want people to know that if you're going to get your CDL you need to do it right and the way you start into a new career and the training that's provide, provided. Hey, think about it, all these Fortune 500 companies and all of these big companies out there. Guys, the culture is harder to learn than the job that you're actually going to do or that you're doing. And everybody that's successful has a structure and has a process. The better the process is, the better you're going to be at doing that job. Um, if you're going to skimp on the front end of it, guess what? That just opens up the avenue for you to get paid less because somebody that has a good process and that's professional about it and knows how to and, and can actually, you know, show that they have the skill to do it and to go through it. And we don't have any skill that's worth anything if we don't use a system that's already proven to do it. I mean, those guys that are still trying to recreate the will, I mean, they still don't have a will. And, and here we are in an environment going to, you know, self-driving uh, vehicles and electric vehicles and all that. So we've left them way behind, if that makes sense. So, okay, so here's the deal. Um, I know the states moved to third-party testing and there's third-party testers out there, which means that you can go to a company and, and if they paid the money and they've hired the employee as a third-party tester, then they can test you in their truck at that location however that third party testing um, that third party testing examiner is really it's really an extension of the department of public safety they have to follow the rules they have to check in with their you know programs on their laptops that are issued and they're held accountable to all the same things that a that an official uh, dps examiner is and you're, they're, they're going to hold you to the same accountability. They're going to hold you to the same process. You're going to have to do the exact same thing no matter where you test, no matter whether you test with a third-party examiner or you test with a DPS examiner. So, uh, you know, when we start looking at that and we start thinking about that, that avenue of it, you know, people, in a sense, everybody, everybody that wants to cut quarter, corners on the cost of it, and everybody's trying to figure out how to do it simpler for them because people typically have families, they have jo uh, jobs to support those families, and they're trying to figure out how to get it done for the least amount of money in the least amount of time. And it's kind of like everything that you do in life. If, uh, and it, it, if you don't believe me on this, then, then do a project in your home where you're remodeling and go hire somebody that doesn't have, he really doesn't have, the experience that uh, the guy that couldn't get to you for six months has, but this guy can come in on the weekend, trust me, you're going to get a bad product and you're going to spend a lot of money for a product that doesn't get done. So the thing is, you really, you really want to do it right. And here, how is this all set up? Well, it's set up this way. 
first of all, you're going to have to test on a truck that's going to give you the options on that truck to have no restrictions on your CDL. Then, in other words, what am I saying? If I'm going to get a Class A CDL and I go down and I test in an automatic transmission truck, guess what? I'm going to have a restriction for an automatic transmission on that CDL. That means I can't drive a manual transmission truck. That means that I'm going to limit my opportunities out there. That means when I realize that I have a better op opportunity and it's a manual transmission truck, that I can't drive it, and now to get that automatic restriction off of my CDL, I'm going to have to go retest through the whole process under DPS's uh, scrutiny and under their control and go through the complete test in a manual truck to get that off, uh, that restriction off of my CDL so that I can not only drive uh, uh, automatic transmissions, but I can drive manual transmission trucks too. All right, that's the fact. There's no other way around it, okay? Um, so, first of all, you're going to do a pre-trip on that truck. So the truck that you're going to test on, if it passes DPS's uh, standards according to the DOT and they're approved, that truck is approved for you to use, okay, with DPS to take the test, you're going to have to know everything about that truck for your uh, for your inspection on the truck, your pre-trip inspection, you're going to have to know where all the engine parts are. You're going to have to know where the where all your safety uh, your safety points are on that trailer, uh, the end cab. You're going to have to know all, how to do all of that without making a mistake. You're going to have to know that truck inside out. The next thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to know how to do the six backing um, the, the the six backing techniques that you're that you're required to know how to do. And they're going to be with cones set up on a yard and you're going to have to understand the process of going through those cones for your setups on those cones because they're in specific positions on that lot at DPS or if there's a third party examiner, they're going to be setting those cones up on that lot and they by no means can instruct you on what you're supposed to do before the test. Those third party examiners can't instruct you one bit. So you're going to have to go through the process that, that you know that. Then you're going to have to get out on the road and you're going to have to do a drive test and you're going to have to be a safe driver and point out the things that you need to know according to the things that DPS wants you to know. So you've got to you've got to have some prep and you've got to have some ways to do that. In the long run, here's what that does for you. If you cut corners, it's just going to take you more time to do it. So you've set all this up to go the cheapest way that you can and do it in a less amount of time. And because of the because of the the, the restriction that you put on yourself for do it in the less amount of time that I can do it. Then you, then you cut corners, and guess what? When it comes to the testing, you're going to, I'm just telling you, you're going to fail. And that's one of the reasons third-party testing came about is because there were so many people out there trying to cut corners on this, and they were showing up. They were using four, five, six, seven, eight times to take a test, which rolls us into something else. Because of their failures, it stretches out the amount of time. It literally costs you more money. It costs the state more money to retest you and retest you. And it's just not, it's just not a good setup for you. Okay, so here's the other, here's the other thing about that. Um, and getting a time to test is a major, 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 major issue in all of this. That's why going to a school is a great idea for you to get in and test because all schools, because they're registered with the government, because they're part of the D DPS's plan for training, uh, and because you know there's a, there's a process that we have to follow with them, then in turn they give us test spots during the week. Now we only have so many test spots. But the way we set up our school here at CDL University is 
we we run our program along that that uh, corresponds with the amount of test spots that we have. So we don't overpack our school and have people lined up to where you got to wait three weeks or two weeks or whatever to take your first test. All right. And that's what goes on with all of these schools that just bring in multiple and multiple people and they and they don't uh, uh, th there's there's not a a good process of being able to control how many you bring in and how many you test out all right but the but if you're if if you're not going to be part of a process that has those test spaces available for you it's going to be difficult to get in in the time frames that you want to get in which is also going to take you more time what you need to do is come see us at cdl university uh, what you need to do is visit with us and let's see how we can make this affordable for you to do it we're located at uh, 2120 south prospect avenue uh, look us up on our website um, and you can also at our website at uh, cdluniversity.org you can also schedule an appointment uh, to get in to see us, uh, but we'll walk you through uh, our program and, and, and how we have a system that's really designed to be helpful to you, that's really designed to save you money and save you time in the process to do everything clean, plus you have the credentials, plus you have the certification, plus you have all the things that are needed to start your career off right, where you're respectable, where you're going to get paid top dollar where people are going to want to hire you because you've been here at CDL University. Have a wonderful day.